Welcome back everybody to this uh, Let's Play of the Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright game. Uh, myself, Jonathan and Burtbot joining you again. Uh, Burtbot, we're about to start off Case 3, also known as uh, Turnabout Samurai. Uh, are you hyped? Extremely. Mm. Extremely. Get it? Because it's number 3. Oh, that's what you were doing. Okay, I thought you had a speech impediment. Uh, okay, fair. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, brand new case. Uh, and again, it has nothing to do with the uh, with the second one we just did. So I'm gonna press play and see what you think. Let's get into it. Woo! So you uh, do you feel like you've kind of got your um, your lawyering up to a adequate scale yet? Oh God, no, no. Like I definitely not in this uh, this realm of <laughs> law and order. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but, you know, I'm willing to give it a go, which I suppose could be good. Yeah, exactly. So let's have a look at the intro and see what happens. Oh, pretty moon. Oh, yeah. we've got a fan. So apparently our intro is a Kurosawa movie. Of course, because I know what that means. <laughs> he pretty much does every samurai movie ever. Okay, well, it shows you how many of them I've watched. Indeed. So. Ah, it, turns, it looks like we were, um, it was a TV show, not the intro at all. Oh, okay. It's one of those clever misdirects that Ace Attorney is well known for. So just to come, just to double check there, by the way, uh, this is the newly opened White and Cole law offices, which uh, took yeah. over from the dead Mia Fey law offices. Um, and this is apparently what they've been doing a few months in: is just watching TV shows. Seventeen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again, age uh, age adjusted for the uh, Western audience. She's a little bit younger in the Japanese yep. game. And uh, you just heard there that Phoenix Wright is only 24, so he's 24 years old and already a defense attorney. So you know, this, this game is very much the land of the young, I'm afraid. So you see there, um, it's been a, it's been a month since Mia's de death, and uh, well, it got them a bit of publicity. It hasn't got them any business. So uh, yeah, they're kind of well. I suppose if you if if you think the lawyer is dead and you're not sure that there's actually someone there to replace them, mm. why would you use their business? That's a good point, actually. Like they could they could have been aware that uh, that. Because Fey are like spirit mediums, they could have been actually having like a haunted law office, and you don't really want to be represented by a ghost, do you? No, not not in this realm. No. In the other realm, possibly. Possibly, yeah. In fairness. Yeah. Okay, so Maya's just called Phoenix uh, in the middle of the night. Oh, the Steel Samurai's been arrested. As in the the guy. The guy from the show. Yeah, the guy from the show killed the villain apparently. Oh. Hmm. We haven't even started yet, the plot thickens. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So he's apparently impaled somebody on his signature weapon. <gasps> What's that about art imitating Hopefully. life? Yeah. I love as well that White is so professional that he was still in bed at half eight. Obviously, he's not worried that much about the rent. No. Hmm. So yes, there's the there's the TV blurb about it. Will Powers has been arrested. Will Powers, what a name! What a <laughs> name! You can say that, but the victim is called Jack Hammer. Oh, that's even better. Oh, trust me, this case really takes the best game when it comes to the pun names. You know, Will Will Power. Killed Jack Hammer. Hmm. Yes. So. Okay. 
So Will Powers was still Samurai. Jackhammer was his uh, villain, the evil magistrate. And someone's actually called the office. I wonder who it could be. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it's the seal samurai. Someone's actually calling the, calling the fucking law office for representation. So it looks like Maya's accepted the case on our, on our behalf. Because we're at home watching TV. Well, it's her favourite show, apparently. So, obviously, because, like, the, uh, the, the kayfabe has been broken, it seems, <laughs> that, uh, that Will Powers may or may not have killed the person. But let's let's find out. Let's let's see if we can ruin this TV show for this 17-year-old girl. Boy, I hope he's innocent. But this is two days later, then? Uh, a day later. Like is A it, day later. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's the guy that plays the Steel Samurai. He looks like a guard. <laughs> he kind of looks like Hugh Jackman a bit. I think that's, a, I think that's what they were going for. Kind of like Wolverine, like, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Maya's already convinced he's a Ronin. Just, just by appearance alone. Oh. I think the idea here, I, I don't know if it comes really across with the character design, but he's supposed to be really, really ugly. Um, I think that's what they're trying to go with. Like, he kind of has, like, weird, kind of, like, weird, like, button nose and, like, like kind of like a shoulder face and the sideburns and the hairy chest and all that. Like, I think that's the whole idea. Uh, uh, but it doesn't strike me as very samurai, but again, I need to stress, I have never seen a samurai movie, but I just never pictured them as being an X-Men. Hmm. Yeah, in fairness, I think I think the issue here is that uh, we don't really have a you know a point of comparison. Like he he is acting as a samurai, you know, like not necessarily uh, fitting the role. And plus, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just throw out the the my most recent kind of uh, encounter with a samurai is that Metapod episode of <laughs> Pokemon. Yes. Uh, yeah, what, what, what were you watching uh, Pokemon episodes for, Burkbot? That seems like a very odd thing to do. Yeah, it is a very odd thing to do, um, uh, but it is actually for a podcast. You might know something about it. Oh, I, I, oh. As, as it turns out, I know quite a lot about it. But let's let's see what happened to Jack Hammer first. Yeah. So it looks like, yeah, he was found by the, uh, by the film crew with the samurai spear in his chest and seemingly in his costume as well. So... So he's he's kind of forgetting that uh, he is not his character there. Mm. He's like, it's, I use, I mean, he uses. Yes. He, <laughs> okay, Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate are both real. You know, they are very, very real here. Um, so this is uh, this will uh, basically explaining what how the show works. So it's it, it, it's set in a place called Neo Old Tokyo. Which uh, I'm sure is a real place if you try hard enough. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's it's basically your your stereotypical children's TV show that uh, everyone has grow, grows up to to adore and talk about on podcasts when they're in their middle age. Again, I wouldn't yes, talk that's... about that. <laughs> no, no. Um, Find our podcast on the Low Blows Network. Yeah, there we go. Man, you're getting good at this. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, took a nap. I can, I can uh, agree with that. that. Yeah. Always good. So yeah, it looks like so his alibi basically is that he was asleep for the whole thing, which is not a good. I start. believe him. <laughs> well, we have, well, we have to find a way of proving it. Is the thing. Um, but yeah, like apparently had a run, action run through. He injured himself and basically slept it off. Uh, and in that time, Jack Hammer was killed. And the, uh, the scene of the crime is the wonderfully named, uh, generically named, uh, Global Studios. And Will has been oh, playing, yeah. 
Will has been there. Uh, yeah, you know Global Studios. They did. They've done a lot of indie flicks back in the day, and they got big. Mm. You know. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pay them a visit right away. We're not wasting any time here. Well, not not in the guard station, Maya. <laughs> it's like, uh, they're not. They're not that. She hasn't station. even got past the gate at this stage. Oh, <laughs> who's this? This is a uh, old bag. Well, we. Who's the we here, Maya? There's, there's one lawyer here and one phony. So, this looks like uh, B. Arthur is the set security. Oh yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Uh, yes, this is. She is the security, and <laughs> she likes to ramble. <laughs> By the way, the text just keeps rambling on here. This is not just me pressing like through it. It just comes. Just I was gonna through. say, I was like, how quickly can you read? <laughs> That's intentional. Like it, it, it's, it keeps speeding up then because you can't understand what she's saying. Uh, so there you have it. So, uh, you'd be shocked to hear. Yes, her name is actually Old Bag. Her name is Wendy Old Bag. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna call her B. Arthur. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's basically what she's based off, really. Um, but yeah. She's a golden girl. Yep, yeah. and apparently was a star back in the day, it seems. So much so that she is now uh, living her twilight years as a security guard. She gets to see the stars come and go all day. Mm, absolutely. And, uh,. As you can kind of see there, she's a bit of a, she's quite partial to Jack Hammer and seems to be a little bit annoyed that he's uh, playing such he's a dead. small role. Well, yeah, I suppose being dead is a, uh, is is bad too. I suppose <laughs> that is uh, that, that 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 can that can affect somebody's career quite a bit. Um, it has to be said. Mm. Who's she waving at? I think she's doing this kind of weird, like, you know, kind of... She's literally hand-waving as in, like, oh, you know what I'm talking about type deal. Um, you know that thing that old women do, which is just... Blah, 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 how they talk with their wrists. Mm. So... So she she doesn't seem to be a fan of Will. But seems no. madly in love with Jack. And there's a picture of him, actually. Okay, so that's what he looks like out of costume. Yes. Or still in costume, but closer up. Yes, that's that looks to be like um, in a previous role when he's not in a in basically like a, a, a latex but gale. He, he kind of has like a Cyclops vibe to him. So of course, Will Powers and Jack Hammer are going to be fi fighting because Wolverine and Cyclops never got on. Indeed, like you, like you, you, we you know I know you, I know you might be joking with the comparisons, but like the the characters in this in Ace Attorney. Do not fall far from the from the source material. If anything, it's kind of a reference. Yeah. Piece, you know, and they they're like this in future games as well. Like they will just be very on the nose with characters, and that's what kind of makes it cool. Is that like that's what they started off with, and then they suddenly rattle through and they become their own own people. Like Old Bag here, for example. Bet your biscuits on it. <laughs> Bet your biscuits. I love that line. I am gonna take that line. <laughs> My right. new catchphrase. Bet your biscuits. But that's a, the the gas thing. Then is trying to bet which kind of biscuits. What's what are more expensive than others? Is there oh, a, she currency? definitely. She's definitely a ginger nut. <laughs> no, I, I I look at her and I sense Garibaldi's. Oh. Yeah. Gary, Gary Ball, Gary Ball, these are hobnobs. Mm, no, they get stuck in dentures. Oh, good point. Try down in the comments what you think which biscuit uh, when the old bag is, and uh, we'll, we'll read it <laughs> out in the next part. We won't because we're recording this in batches. But uh, we're, pret we're pretending to engage with our audience here in a very fair way. <laughs> so. Well, feel free just to message your favorite biscuit, and then Please. that might give me ideas. Yeah. Please do. I mean, it, like, it's... would you would you like a good Dunkin' biscuit? Myself personally, I'm not a big, of, I'm not that big of a dunker. I'm not gonna lie here. Um, I'm sure. Um, I am very much sure that uh, 
that will paint me in a negative light, but I'm happy to stand here and say that I'm not that much of a dunker. But that is a sad, sad state of affairs. But Almost as sad as Will Powers mm. believing that he's innocent. <laughs> so you're already in the camp that this guy is completely guilty. I think he sleepwalked and did it. <laughs> that is entirely possible. Um, the guy seems to have rotten luck. Um, so, yeah, maybe he did just, like, accidentally, like, maybe he was doing the actual run-through in his sleep and accidentally, like, Hammer just, like, was there in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's a bit of a stretch, mm. but, you know. Like, he's been happens. practicing these moves. He's been doing all his own stunts. They're just hardwired into his brain. He needs to go for a nap. Yeah. He doesn't realize, but his body still hasn't switched off from all that practice. Mm. Boom, dead. <laughs> Who do a muscle memory could be so strong that it would make you do the same thing? Well, you better bet your biscuits on it, Jonathan. <laughs> I, I, knowing how this game ends, I will not bet any biscuits on this. Not even the oh, biscuits I oh, don't Oh, that's like. right, that's right. 